Hello everybody, my name is Spencer, and today we're going to be going over how to download mods for BeamNG. So if you didn't know, there's a ton of ways you can go about doing this. The first way is to go to BeamNG.com, which will bring you to this. Uh, there's more, I think this, if you search up BeamNG.com, it will bring you to right here, which is the main page. I will leave all the links down in the description below if you need them. So if you go to the main page, you can go to community and then go down to mods. And then this is your main mod area where most of the mods are. And all these mods are officially released to the repo as well. So you can also download mods in game, which I'm going to get into. So for way one that we're going to do this is just through the mod page. So if you go down, you can see a bunch of a list, a bunch of mods. For this example, we're going to go download minimap right here. Um, and you'll be graded with this page. I don't know if you need an account. I think you do need an account. So make an account for this. I just recommend it in general because it is a good thing to be a part of. So there's multiple ways of doing this. So you can either press subscribe and that will launch the game and then it will download it in the repo or you can download now manually. Now I'm going to do manually just to show you how to actually do that. So once you press download now, it's going to appear right in the corner right here. And the next thing you're going to want to do is open your file browser. So when you open your file browser, you're going to be greeted with this, which is like the default area for it. So where you want to go is to mods. I already have a quick access for this, but you can also do this by just going to this little URL right here, which will be C users, your name, app data, bmg.drive 0.26 and mods. Let me also show it through here. So if you go to this PC, go to local, go to users, go to your name, which apparently I have a name as thing. I don't know why I do. App data, which if app data is not available, just go to view right here and then click this one to allow hidden items. Because if you have that one closed, app data won't show up. But if you have it enabled, app data will show up. So if you go to app data, you go to local, bmg.drive, the latest update, which either you can go through this file or through this one, which is the recent, most recent update. And then you can go to the mods folder right here. And then you're going to be able to drag and drop this zip file into mods right here. And then you already have a mod ready. So now if you launch the game, I already have the game actually installed. So let me, or not install, but on, let me go to mod manager and it's already in the game right now. As you can see, I drag and drop. So it's already in here. If it doesn't show up, just make sure you press update all mods and then it should show up right here. These are all repo mods I think I had installed, but they're not enabled right now, but you can see it's, it's enabled right here. Um, also you can deactivate the mod by pressing this button right here, which is to activate it and deactivate it. And then you can also remove the mod by just pressing this to remove and unsubscribe from the mod. Subscribing is a bit different because if you go to the repository, this is the exact same thing that you'll see on the BeamNG form page, but in BeamNG. So it's actually a lot easier to find mods through here. And they also have a little search function so you can go by title, reviews, rating, size, etc. And you can also search specific people. So if you like search my name, it will bring up all the resources with that name attached to it. Another thing is if you're on the mod page itself, you can also go through, let me download West Coast USA Halloween. If I just press subscribe through here, then it will say this and then just press open in BeamNG and then it will start downloading through here because it's connected to the repository through that site. So this is another way of doing it. So once that's finished downloading, you'll see that it's right here and then you can go to back, free roam, and then the map should be in here. And if I just load it up, it will work. So now that's loading in, you can also see the mini map of it enabled right here. Um, and if it's not available, you can also go up to this right here. So if you go over to UI apps, you can also enable it through here because since it is a UI app, you're gonna need to enable, enable it through here. And I think it's just called mini map in the thing. So if you search up mini map, it will show up right here and then you can add another one if you want and then move it around. Or if it's already enabled, you can just move it around through here. So that's the UI apps and the map in. Now we're gonna download a car mod. So it's pretty much the same process. So if you wanna download a car mod, go to the repository or the mod page, and then we're gonna sort by only land, remove all the other ones. So once I have all the other ones removed, you'll only see the vehicle mods that are available. So say that I want this backyard cart right here, you would go to backyard cart and then just press subscribe and then it will download like it did for the West Coast Halloween version. As you can see, you can also see the progress bar right here so that you can see the mod is downloading. So once that's finished downloading, it will be right into the installed mods right here and then you'll see it right here. And then if you go to vehicles and then the mod will be right here. And if I load the race version in right here, and now we have this little cart we can mess around with, which is pretty fun. All right, and that about does it for this video. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and liking the video, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.